and real quick, I, I, I got to ask you about this from you know a psychology perspective. Um, in a relationship, who do you think should have uh, the leverage, and what are like the social ramifications of each if one party holds it? Well, I think one of the reasons why we have yet to have a World War III is because of the nuclear bomb and that more than one country has it. Mm -hmm. Like if, if only the Americans developed the bomb, we probably would have become even more tyrannical than we have in, in the last 70 years. But mm -hmm. the fact that at, at the beginning just the USSR did, it created some deterrence between those two superpowers. Yeah. And I do think that it's important for men to develop optionality so that they can combat the passive optionality that a woman has just by being a woman. Yes. And that kind of levels the playing field. Yeah. Um, you don't necessarily have to be spinning plates, mm -hmm. though that's one way to do it. Mm -hmm. The best thing for a man to be is visibly competent. Mm -hmm. Women, in order to increase their optionality, they want to be visibly attractive. That's why they're on Instagram with the booty pics, right? Absolutely. They're using their body as bait. Men can't really do that. A lot mm -hmm. of guys... Some guys can if they're really, you know, yoked. I'll but tell you from example, it, it, when you post shirtless photos, you get more attention from men. So it doesn't help you as a mm -hmm. guy. Interesting. Uh, like, yeah, you get more pause. But you, you, when you're a guy and you're in really great shape, some girls will admire it. But to be honest with you and ask any guy that's a fitness influencer, they'll tell you, you get more attention from men. Bro, how'd you get your biceps like that, et cetera, than women? I got that about my car. I thought I was going to be a chick magnet. Oh, Turned yeah, out to be a dude no. magnet. <laughs> dude. Yeah, man. Guys like, oh, fresh. Yeah. He bought llama for girls. No, dude, it's older men that love cars and young kids. Oh my God, that's my dream car. Yeah. Girls are like, is that a Ferrari? Yeah. They, they don't, don't even know. know, bro. They don't know. Yeah, they I got flagged out by a guy who was going the other direction. He was like, stop, stop. That was my dream car. Yeah. He made me pop the hood. I mean, it was cute, but it yeah. was like, what car was it? I have a Z4, a BMW Z4. Okay. I, okay. I really like that car. Yeah. Convertible? It is. It's a hard top convertible. Ooh. Cool. Nice. Right in the back. I see how he's doing, man. <laughs> Midlife crisis? <laughs> okay. Midlife success, baby. <laughs> there you go. Um, but sorry, continue on. So you were talking about the. the um, so men have to be visibly competent. Yeah. Uh, if you do something well, you want to make sure the world knows about it. Yeah. yeah. So the, to be honest, I think that clearly there are things about being a high value man, having high net worth, uh, taking care of your body. But I think more than anything else, the, the magic sauce with women is fame, is, is to be a to have Talked some about that. we called it years ago bro yeah let, 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 me let, us, let him okay, finish his thought then ahead. we'll talk about our good, good. and and why good. is Sorry. that because i think that like you have to understand i'm sure you guys already know but for the audience at yeah, home please. that attention for a woman is the equivalent of sex for a man yes it's that reinforcing and if you are a man who can command an audience whether it's a stage at your local theatrical production or it's on YouTube or on social media or what have you. And there are eyeballs looking at you and there are men who respect you. And there are other women looking at you in admiration. Like women are going to find a way to get around you because then they can vicariously bask in the attention that you are receiving. Yeah. And, and women know subconsciously that as a man, if you have an audience or you have some level of notoriety or fame, you're doing something right because it's significantly harder for men to build an audience or get into the music industry or become an entertainer than it is for a female. So they know deep down, they're like, all right, you're providing some kind of value if you're like big. Like I've always said like, and I hate to say this, a guy that has like 10K followers on Instagram is like the equivalent to like a girl that has like 250K on Instagram. 10,000 on Instagram is tough. As, as a, a dude, as yeah. a, you got 10K on Instagram, girls are going to be like, oh, this guy's fucking doing something. That's the benchmark. You know, that's like a benchmark where, because because let's be honest, bro, a regular bimbo can have 100,000 on Instagram with like no pictures up because men are that thirsty. But as a dude, if you're going to have that kind of following, you're doing something right. It's kind of depressing. They can just do a little dance and put on makeup <laughs> and some and some music, and they have a million followers. Dude, th there's there's uh there's girls I know on TikTok that like literally just make videos about I'm tall, and they make f a bunch of fucking money. But fame is mean. really really important. <laughs> a lot of guys don't believe this. We'll leave aside kind of this recent celebrity that I've established. But when I I it was so much easier for me to attract women when I was a broke actor living in New York City than as a rich doctor mm. in my 30s. Mm. And I think it's because I had my stage and the lights were on me and people were looking up and there was ah, the, the social status. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you're the contextual alpha. Being a leading man on a stage, even if it's not a, you know, a Broadway show, people are going to, they're going to be waiting at the stage door. You know, you mentioned the, the contextual alpha. That is so goddamn important because I've told people this before, that if you're at the right place at the right time with this right um, situation and context, 
you can be that guy. Like Absolutely. if you're, you you don't have to necessarily be the most attractive guy or the most physically capable guy, or whatever. But if you are the top guy in your in certain social niche or circle, you'll be fine. This is why, like, uh, I, when I used to work in you know regular jobs, right? When I was, uh, you guys know, I worked at McDonald's, got fired from that, and then I worked in loss prevention at Macy's, etc. The girls were hooking up with like the managers or the bosses, etc. And these guys were relatively um, lower value, right? I don't know, some fucking that's all other thing. <laughs> Uh, some crazy bitches hitting me up, guys. What Sorry. The uh, what the hell? What yeah, the heck? just block that whore, man. I don't uh, even know who she is. Anyway, <laughs> I swear okay. to God, bro, I don't know who this chick is. Best okay. chick, bro. bro uh, feel, what's going what on, the... nigga? Bro. Uh, <laughs> bro. Yeah, bro. Why the fresh and fit, yeah. just... Why she look Asian too? Yeah, she did. <laughs> she did, man. Uh, I, I watched her video and said, "I'm gonna hit up." No, I'm just kidding. Um, ball jokes aside, <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't, I'm telling y'all niggas, I don't know who it is. <laughs> you want to turn that off fuck? before you go live? Yeah, yeah sorry. Um, bro, what? <laughs> um, bro. <laughs> we're talking about. Uh, oh yeah, contextual alphas. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. they were hooking up with like the managers and stuff and if you look at these guys on paper they're lower value i mean the guys like making like i remember back then we we're making like eight nine ten bucks an hour he was making like an 11 but he was getting a bunch of the girls but why because in that situation he was getting a lot of the cases the managers and the management loved him he was one of the better um you know so we call them store detectives right the catching people that are shoplifting and he was getting chicks you know the guy had done a dui and stuff and whatever but he was getting women how because in that case in that scenario he was a contextual alpha, so he was able to hook up with a bunch of girls that worked at Macy's at the time. So I think that's also very important, especially since most men meet women through social circle game. Most guys aren't out here cold approaching and doing all this other shit to the same degree that like we talk about here in RP. Most guys are literally, you know, meeting women through social circle, contextual alphas, well, work, etc. apps maybe, right? That's the, the furthest they'll get into meeting someone that's different uh, or completely out of their social circle. But, um, but yeah, that's very important. But yeah, you're talking about your acting thing. And just to add to your point as well, this is why they will take you dating other women as well because they see you as the guy that gets other girls. But if you're an average guy, I'm not sharing an average guy. Why would I do that? Best way to get a woman is to have a woman. Exactly. Women want what other women want. You're married. You got girls around you. Oh, well, I nothing want works better than marriage because what it seems, what it does is it, it kind of makes you safe because women actually kind of want to be nicer to guys, but guys... No one's ever nice to them, and so they can't decide whether this woman is just being friendly or she's flirting with them. Yeah, that's why they tend to fall in love with the barista who smiles at them because it's the only person who fucking smiles at him all day. It's the only so like true, man. actual. Hey, positive. Chad, here's your treat, Chad. So uh, true, bro. She's my wife. Kinda, right? But if you're married, it's like, oh, this can't lead to anything. So I'm going to touch you. I'm going to get close to you. I can open up to you. I have plausible deniability. Also, at least one other woman has vetted you and said that you were the best that she could do. Yeah. And it's actually, I mean, it's just like recruiting. It's always easier to steal somebody else's man than to get your own because it's just <laughs> 1v1 versus maybe like 1v100. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a good no, point. No, so true, man. Um, some more chats here. here. Yeah, I'll go back to it. 